What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, No Credit, and I'm back again with another one. I need you guys to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification icon for more videos like this. That being said, let's get into it. Uh-uh. Terrence Bud Crawford. Earl Smith Jr. never been a part of a drama so crazy like this before should I cross street I might as well I never been a part of drama and boxing the sport of boxing so crazy before like these guys they try to make this second fight big I, at first I thought the second fight wasn't gonna happen but I think it's gonna happen I think for the health of Earl Spence it shouldn't happen. Like, if you a true Earl Spence fan, you shouldn't want to see him go through something like that again. But because he's telling everybody he's injured, so now everybody think, oh, he's he only went through that because he was injured. No, man. He was going to go through that regardless, injured or not. Don't let that man lie to y'all, man. I'm telling y'all. For the health of y'all boy, Earl Smith. Y'all shouldn't want to see him go through that again. But they're already promoting this junk all crazy. Damn, the snow got that challenger looking fucked up right now. The snow out of pocket. This joint really sticking though. I came outside and I'm like, yo, this joint really sticking. It's still snowing. I'm like, hey, yo, hey. They turned the weather machine on today. Great. But anyway, I really feel like, I, I really feel like the rematch shouldn't happen. A lot of people talking about, y'all don't want it to happen because y'all don't want to see a healthy Earl Spence beat up on Crawford. No, 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 no. We don't want it to happen because Earl may never, he may never be the same again. He may never be the same. The beating he took from Crawford is what sent him to the hospital. He ain't going to the hospital. How you gonna go to the hospital six months after your fight for something you should have been got done a couple years ago? It's just not making sense. Why all of a sudden now? No, no. You had some up. You had some new injuries added to whatever you think you had. You got some new injuries added to it. A lot of trauma. That's why you had to make it a, a mandatory to go to the hospital and get that surgery. Because whatever you thought you had, that shit is 10 times worse than what it was before. You feel what I'm saying? So, he can't lie to me. He can lie to y'all, but he can't lie to me. Y'all see the city. City beautiful, right? It's beautiful when motherfuckers just acting normal or when nobody else shot. So you can't lie to me, bro. You can't lie to me. You can lie to anybody else, but you can't lie to me. You ain't you ain't been had that injury, bro. You just got that jump. My biggest concern for Earl Smith Jr., the man may not be able to hug his kids if the rematch happens. He may not be able to hug his kids and kiss them and be there for them. I understand what I'm saying? Because you just got your ass beat. It's like, all right, let me, let me give y'all a story. It's like, say somebody been talking shit on Instagram to you, right? For a long ass time, but you never get them. You keep trying to get them, but you just can't get them. They keep ducking you. They find a way to, to duck you. But you finally get them and you beat them. You beat the shit out of them, right? 
Y'all listening? You beat the shit out of them, right? And after you beat the shit out of them, they got the nerve to come on the internet and say, that that was all you had? That wasn't nothing? Or you only beat me up because you snuck me or you caught me slipping or some shit like that? Or you only beat me up because I was in, use Earl Spence injured. I meant Earl Spence answer. You only beat me up because I was injured. That shit gonna make you even more mad. Oh, you, the ass whooping I gave you wasn't enough? So now you talking about, I only beat you up because you was injured? Oh, all right, say no more. Say no more, watch when I catch you, bro. Watch when I catch you. Watch when I catch you for the round for round two, bro. I'm not sparing you this time. Crawford's not going to spare Earl Spence. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. The man's not. You know what Sean Porter daddy said? I stopped the fight because I want Sean Porter to, to be able to hug his kids in the morning. I want to be able to hug my son. I saved my son's life. That's why I stopped the fight. This Crawford man was about to go off. Crawford would have took Sean Porter's eye. If his daddy would have kept the fight going. His daddy knew what time it was and he saved Earl. He saved Sean Porter's life. Because he wants Sean Porter to hug his beautiful kids. Earl Spence trainer, Derek James don't care about Earl Spence he's selfish because if he cared about Earl Spence bro he would have stopped that fight in the seventh round he would have stopped that fight in the seventh round but he don't care about that man bro he don't care about that man that's why he ain't stopped that John you understand what I'm saying he really don't care about Earl because if he did he would have stopped that fight I'm telling y'all he would have stopped that fight but he don't care about Earl, yo. But anyway, y'all. I feel like these dudes is going back and forth online to promote the second fight. A fight that we don't really want. But because of the drama back and forth, the excuses and all the other bullshit they saying, it's going to make us want want to see the fight. Just because of the back and forth, the Twitter beef, the Twitter war, I mean, it's just too interesting. It, it, it got our attention already. It got my attention. You know what I'm saying? Even though I still don't want to see the fight, but it got me talking about it. It got my attention. So I feel like just because of that, just because of the back and forth, it's giving us a new interest to say, all right, maybe let's just see what Earl could do. We already know, well, the real boxing fans, let me just say that. You know, the casual is going to say, Earl's going to be healthy now, so he's going to beat up Crawford. But the Royal Boxing fans, we're going to say, you know what? Let's just see what Earl can do. We might have a change of heart and say, let's just see what Earl can do. Maybe Earl can turn stuff around. You know, go in there and give Crawford a little bit more of a competitive fight than last time. Because I told y'all his volume is going to be his downfall. Didn't I tell y'all that? Y'all kept talking about 100 punches around, honey. I'm saying... A hundred punches around, he gonna lose because of that. If you find a, 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 a sniper like Crawford, you're not supposed to throw a hundred punches around. Because he already limits your output. So the more punches you throw, the more vulnerable you become. That's what I kept trying to tell Earl sexual, but they wasn't listening. And Earl, he found that shit the hard way. You know, so instead of giving the man credit, He's using excuses. I feel like the second fight gonna be way worse, bro. We'll see, man. You can't really predict these things to the T. I mean, I knew Bud was gonna win. I ain't, I ain't know Bud was gonna beat him that bad. But you can't really predict this drawing to the T. But uh, we'll see, man. We'll see what happens if the rematch actually do happen. Like I said, they got me interested. And I'm pretty sure a lot more people are interested. And the casuals are jumping on it. 
they in the comments talking about Crawford's ducking a, a healthy Earl Spence. It's just stupid shit they're saying, bro. Like, it's not going to be the same outcome. Shit, it might be sooner than last time. But anyway, it's your boy, no credit. I'm out. I'm going to holler at y'all, yeah?